they're not forming like right really amazing shapes or anything at the moment but there's just so many of them it's awesome and the sky looks beautiful so I'm gonna get a couple of images and uh, hopefully hopefully they come this way Whoa, this is so good Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I've come up to the Somerset Levels which actually isn't really that far away from my house. It only took me about an hour to get here so it's pretty bad that I've not been here before because it is absolutely beautiful. So I've come up here because um, at this time of year you get the starlings murmurating and this is a spectacle that I've wanted to see for a long long time and I've seen them obviously small murmurations when I'm driving up the motorway or something but I've never actually been to witness like a grand murmuration and this apparently, this RSPB reserve up here at Hamwall, um, apparently this is one of the best places in the UK to see the starlings murmurate so um, I'm really excited about this one. I've got a few hours to kind of burn before the starlings are likely to, um, to kind of play ball but that's alright with me to be honest because there's so many other things to kind of look at. Um, I don't know about photography at the minute because the light's pretty harsh. Um, it's a lot of like contrast, shadows. In fact, I might, you might be able to see shadows on my face at the moment. But it's still just really, really nice to be out, to have the sun shining. It's one of those lovely, lovely winter days today where I woke up and it was like a thick frost in the garden and uh, not a cloud in the sky at the moment. So um, I'm feeling really confident about it. So just behind me, you can probably hear, we've got loads of different birds. I don't know what they all are. If I'm perfectly honest, I'll have to go home and um, get the book out, but we've got loads of ducks, coots. There's a grebe that's just like um, diving around in front of me. So I still got about two hours before it gets towards like dusk time. So I'm just gonna chill here, I think for a bit, probably just film some of these birds and uh, see how we get on.
Okay, so I thought that, um, you know, whilst I'm kind of just waiting around for the sun to go down, essentially, um, I'd run you guys through, because I like to kind of explain to you guys what kind of images I have in mind each time I come out for a trip, and today's no different. I've got a couple of images I'd like to try and achieve. Um, so the first image that I'd like to try and get from today, so this is up, as I mentioned, on the Somerset level, so it's, it's right near Glastonbury. So you've got the big monument at Glastonbury, just just behind me and um, what I'd like to try and do is I'd like to try and capture an image of the starlings murmurating with that monument in the frame um, that's going to be pure luck to be honest as to whether the starlings kind of murmurate in that direction but um, I'm going to give it a go because I've kind of got this thing in mind where I can use a slower shutter speed and then obviously the monument's going to stay still or at least you'd hope so um, and then as all the starlings are kind of swirling around it I can use that slow shutter speed and try and capture an image that's going to show the movement of the birds but obviously everything else remains um, in focus so that's one image that i'd really like to try and capture today and the other image quite simply is just an image of the actual patterns the style of murmuration itself so to do that i'm going to need a wider lens than my 500 f4 in fact i brought the 500 f4 because well i don't really like to leave home without it but I don't know if it's going to be that much use today, if I'm perfectly honest. So, what I brought with me was my zoom lens. So this is the 100-400, not going to go into like talking about gear and stuff, but um, I've brought that, so it'll be a bit more versatile, because obviously I can pull it back to 100, zoom into 400, so kind of, I think that's going to be the lens for the job today. Um, the only downside is, obviously, the birds are going to start murmurating, I guess, as it gets a little bit darker. And I'm going to lose a stop of light, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. F f 5.6 is still is still pretty good. Um, and I can see here, I've put in my 50 mil 1.8. That was actually a mistake. That was supposed to be my wide angle lens. Um, so to get the wide shot, I'm going to have to use this lens that I'm talking to you on now, uh, which is a 15 to 45 mil lens and that sits on my vlogging camera so i can't put that on my 1dx um so i will have to take any wide images with the vlogging camera which again isn't the end of the world to be honest it's, it's a great little camera so yeah they're the two images i've got in mind one on a slow shot speed showing kind of movement in the birds and one showing some of the patterns with hopefully based on the way the sky's looking now some really nice colors but this is so peaceful honestly all of the uh, reeds just look so golden We've got some nice backlight. I think I'm going to move though because I can just see everybody walking past me and I'm not going to follow the crowd. I, I don't enjoy doing that at all. I'd rather see less starlings and be kind of around less people. It's not that I don't like people. It's just that, especially when I'm talking to you guys, I still get a little bit nervous when there's loads of people around as well. But also I quite like to just enjoy those kind of moments to myself. Um, so yeah, I can see kind of everyone walking up the ridge to the right hand side of me so i'm probably gonna head up that way but i don't know sun's still still not gone down so we've got plenty of time so i've actually changed my mind i've decided that i'm gonna stay right here um th there's so many people up there and i'm sure they're probably in the right place but you know these are birds and um the chances are well there's a chance that they'll fly over this way over to where they're all stood anyway. Um, I've got nobody else here. So I kind of think for that reason, it's probably better off that I just stick it, stick it out down here and uh, just hope for the best. I mean, it's so, so beautiful down here. Um, it's so calm, all you can hear are the birds. I've got this nice golden light now. The sun is just about dipping down behind the trees. So hopefully in the next 15, 20 minutes, we might start seeing some starlings grouping together. I'm going to change my um, lens now, um, put on the zoom lens, kind of get myself ready um, and just keep watching these birds. I've been trying to get some images, but um, I'm shooting from quite a high up point here. So there was one point where I managed to like lie down just down there a little bit and um, get a couple of images of a grebe. But I don't think the images are going to come too much. So, um, yeah, rather than just taking loads and loads of images and having to sort through them when I get home, um, I've just enjoyed it instead. Got a little bit of footage for you guys, but I've kind of put the images to the back of my mind until the starlings come out. I 
I can see some starlings. This is awesome. They're, they're really far away, kind of wishing I had my 500 on, but there's so many of them, they're coming in the distance over the hill. I'll try and get some footage, it might be a little bit far. This is so cool. I just hope they come this way, because uh, that would just be awesome. So many of them. Come on. Oh, there's more, they just keep coming. I think I'm going to uh, end the video here. It's, um, it's getting pretty dark now, so I know that very soon it'll be almost impossible to talk to you. Um, I'm going to stick around for another like 10, 15 minutes, but this has just been awesome. Definitely, definitely worth waiting around. Um, they weren't forming really big patterns like I mentioned before, but just so many just coming in constantly. Just uh, the sheer number of them was just amazing to see. And um, I managed a couple of images. I've tried the one with the uh, Glastonbury Monument in the background. I don't know if there's enough starlings to kind of make the image work or at least what I had in mind, but I'll have a look when I get back and put them in on the computer. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. What, hey, and also I had this whole area to myself. I'm not joking when I say that there's hundreds and hundreds of people up there and uh, I had this to myself. They're probably in a better spot, to be honest. They've probably got, um, starlings murmurating and roosting nearer to them oh there's so many of them i'm going to stop talking but look i hope you enjoyed the video and um if you did give it a thumbs up uh let me know in the comments actually what your kind of favorite wildlife spectacle is you know whether it's the the red deer rot or um whether it's something like the starling murmuration let me know because i'll be really really interested to hear what you guys say um but yeah i'm going to leave it there but i'll see you all on the next one